Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. Got the Dodge Ram here. Today we're going to do a liters per minute test, an efficiency test on the system. See if we can duplicate the, uh, the bench readings that we got, which were about 6 mmw. And we want to get an idea of what kind of liters per minute this system is producing for the Dodge Ram project. So I've got the engine running. And we've got our little bottle tester here. And it's, uh, you see how we've got the water from all the way to the top of the bottle. So there's no, there's no air in that one liter bottle. And it, we measured this out with the graduated cylinder um, to a line at the other end, right there. And that, when it hits that, that's one liter per minute very accurate. The bottle is very light. And I've compensated for the weight of the bottle and the tube that's in the center. The tube that's in the center displaces a little bit of uh, volume from the cylinder. So that's been done. Back here, Got a voltmeter hooked up, showing the volts, and we've got the amps right there. We set the uh, camera on tripod, and we'll do a test. Okay. I've got my stopwatch handy here. We'll go ahead and start this test right here. I'll just stick my finger over that. And that'll get the bottle gone. Here we go. Ready? Go. Stop. So I got five seconds even. Let's figure out what that equates to. We're going to go, looks like it's fluctuating between 13.3 and 13.8. So we'll go 13.6 volts. And on the amps, looks like we're right around 160. So 13.48 volts, 160 amps. Okay, 13.48 volts, 160 amps, let's figure out how many watts we have got there. Okay. 13.48 times 160 equals 2,157 watts, 2,157. Okay, to figure out the liters per minute, we take our seconds, our milliliters, divided by our seconds. So 1,000 milliliters, one liter, divided by five, gives us 200 times 60, times 60, so looks like it's right at 12 liters per minute. And now to get the MMW, we'll divide that 
by the watts, which is 2157. So 5.56 MMW, not too bad. 12 liters per minute. That ought to be able to uh, do something for the engine. Next video, I'm going to do a mileage test and see what kind of uh, mileage results we'll get without uh, using any uh, EFIE or O2 altering uh, electronics. All right, this is Steve. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and comment. I appreciate all the comments and all the subscribers. Thank you.